We tend to think life belongs in a place that's, well, comfortable for us. Lots of oxygen in the air, 72 degrees. But is that really true? The last few years, we've been finding life practically everywhere on Earth, and not just the obvious spots. Microbes are thriving under rocks in the driest, hottest desert. Life's doing just fine in the dark bottom of the oceans, warmed by deep sea vents. And now, life is turning up in some of the coldest, bleakest conditions imaginable, including the ice sheets of Antarctica and Greenland. So now that we've found life, not just surviving, but thriving just about everywhere on Earth, suddenly it's looking more likely that life might thrive in lots of places beyond Earth, even if we would find them a bit uncomfortable. If life is common, then we should be able to find signs of it beyond our own little planet. Unfortunately, the evidence has been elusive. It seems as if one crucial ingredient has been missing. The most important requirement for life is liquid water. And that's the defining requirement for life in terms of our solar system. There's plenty of energy, there's plenty of carbon, there's plenty of other elements on all the planets in our solar system. What's rare, and which as far as we know only occurs now on Earth, is liquid water. Liquid water is crucial because it's an ideal solvent. Molecules can easily move around in it and react with one another allowing the complex chemistry of life to do its thing. For years, it seemed that Earth, with its oceans of liquid water, was an oddball and perhaps the only place in the solar system where life had ever thrived. In recent years, NASA spacecraft have sent back images of Mars with stunning detail and there are clear signs of a watery past. From orbit around Mars, we can see ancient rivers that are now dry, canyons, which look like they had lakes in the middle of them, even what looks like an ancient ocean floor in the Northern Hemisphere. We see unmistakable signs that Mars was a wet place. And now there's even more information from NASA's twin rovers that roam the red planet, taking pictures and probing the rocks for their chemical makeup. The photos reveal clear sedimentary layers in the Martian rocks, and chemical analysis shows they must have been laid down in the presence of water. Mars might be too cold and dry to harbor life today, but if Order was once there, then perhaps life was too. And now there is hope that life may thrive even farther out in the solar system. I think Mars is the number one candidate for the search for life beyond the Earth, especially if we're going to find it soon. But we do have a backup plan. And in this case, the backup plan is Europa, one of the moons of Jupiter. A little smaller than our moon, Europa is covered with ice. But there are cracks in its surface, perhaps signs of ice sheets floating on a deep ocean of liquid water. The places where life can live and exist are far more extensive than we used to imagine. We used to think a life-bearing planet had to be just like the Earth. And a little closer to the sun, it would be too hot. A little farther away, it would be too cold. And now we realize, oh gosh, there's a place which has an ocean with three times as much water as the ocean of Earth and the water's warm and that's way out in the solar system where we used to think the temperatures were ridiculously low there could never be life there so even though we've yet to find life elsewhere in the solar system or beyond we're getting more optimistic that life may be widespread but if life is common in the galaxy what kind of life would it be